Hi, Jared Akers from spiritualzen.net. If you've been by my blog recently, you know that my, fa my father recently passed away. And, and um, I'm going to talk about today a little bit about the, the topic, more will be revealed later, or kind of a little bit of just what I've been going through. And so a little background, on the 25th, of June, my father had a CAT scan done of his brain and they discovered that there was five tumors in his brain. Now, my parents live an hour and a half away, so the next morning I drove home to my parents to the hospital and they were doing a biopsy on a lymph node on my dad's neck and I pretty much knew what they were going to find because, well, I don't know how I knew. I guess I've had enough experience with people with cancer or logic just told me that if he has five tumors in his brain and they're cancers, that's probably not where the cancer started and and so that it had metastasized and so we're all we're sitting in the waiting room or in the little room where they put you where the surgeon comes out and talks to you and we're waiting and my sister or my mother my sister my aunt and my uncle um, and my wife we're all sitting there and the surgeon comes in and sits in the in the chair across from us and um, and he says you know we ha I have bad news um, it has metastasized um, so we're pretty confident. Anyway, he said it's probably originated in the lungs, and um, and he said at that point, I remember him saying specifically that we just pray that the Lord has mercy and He doesn't suffer long. And at that point, it's kind of hard to explain, but I kind of left my body. Or if you've been through a similar situation, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. So anyway, and I remember my mother saying, "Well, it's in God's hands now," and I remember thinking. Well, it's always been in God's hands, and which gave me a little bit of comfort um, at that point because I, I knew that it was in God's hands and that it always had been, and you know, and that whatever the outcome was, that I would learn and grow from it. And I don't know if I thought all that in that moment, but anyway, I left my body sort of, or it, from that point on, it seemed like I was watching everything, at, at, like I was watching a movie. So. Just as I was getting used to the idea that my father had terminal cancer, and, and I went on a trip, my wife and I, to see some friends, and, and it was kind of a spiritual vacation, and you know, and I talked to my dad on the phone um, almost every day when I was on vacation, and then I came back and I saw him on Monday, the fifth um, of July, um, and I got to see him and tell him I loved him, and then the next day on the sixth, he passed away. So. Ten days after I found out he had cancer, he passed away, and we believe it was probably a, a pulmonary embolism or a blood clot, which is a blood clot, something like that. Um, it doesn't really matter, but so the Lord did have mercy, and he didn't suffer long. And but the, the topic about more will be revealed later was this whole time I'm kind of like I'm watching my life is from a you know like I'm watching a movie, and I didn't cry a whole lot. I did a little bit, but I think I was kind of in shock, you know. And and then Sunday. So after he died, you know, I was at my parents' house and we were doing all the arrangements, taking care of the funeral and all that stuff, which we had on Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm back at home with my wife and she's downstairs and I'm, and I'm taking a shower and, and I had this vision and I'll, I'll just call it a vision. It was a thought, you know, going through my head and kind of, I envisioned that moment that I heard the surgeon say that, that I'd kind of left my body and that this whole time God had been standing next to me with his arm around me. And, you know, and helping me through it. And then at that moment he said, or I heard or thought, you know, God say, I'll take care of him. It's okay. I have him. And, and, and then I just lost it. I, I just wailed and my wife thought I, I was skinning a goat in the bathroom or something, I don't know, but not that we skin goats or anything, but she just heard this noise and because I just I couldn't control it and it just came out and, and, and she came up and then she jumped in the shower with me and just held me and it was it was quite a spiritual experience and you know and you know it was good and I I think part of death, you know, we're all dying and we all assume it's it's later rather than sooner, but learning how to feel those motions completely and, and that God will only give us so much that we can handle at a time. And, and so I know that. And so whatever I'm feeling at any given time is okay. Emotions are just emotions. And, 
And thinking that you should or shouldn't be feeling a certain way is like telling a river that it shouldn't flow towards the ocean. It's just, if it's emotion and you're feeling it, then it's valid and, and, it, and it's good to feel it. So that's kind of just what I was thinking about. And, and, and thank you for listening. And I encourage you to stop by my blog at spiritualzen.net. And uh, thanks.